Thank you for attending this public information meeting regarding the proposed widening of State Road 507 or Babcock Street. This brief presentation provides a broad overview of issues the Florida Department of Transportation will be addressing during their design phase of the project. The presentation also includes information on the recommended improvements. As you have probably seen, FDOT staff and design team members are here to discuss your concerns and answer your questions. Team members can be distinguished by their blue name tags. There are also numerous graphics and documents on display for your review. Please feel free to discuss any project issues you have with the design team. Your input is very important to us. We are currently designing the improvements and will not be finished with the design for another 16 months. The project is currently not funded for purchasing right away or for actual construction. Babcock Street is a north-south arterial highway located within the city of Palm Bay in southern Brevard County. This widening project is approximately 2.6 miles long, beginning at Malabar Road or State Road 514 and extending north to Palm Bay Road or County Road 516. Babcock Street is designated as an official hurricane evacuation route. There is one bridge along the corridor that spans the Melbourne-Tillman Canal C1. Babcock Street is primarily surrounded by single-family residential property. However, commercial properties are also present north of the Tillman Canal Bridge. A Project Development and Environment, or PD&E study, to evaluate the feasibility and impacts of the improvements was completed in 2002. The study results showed the need to widen this portion of Babcock Street to six lanes to accommodate future traffic demands and provide additional safety. The study was approved by the Federal Highway Administration. Since 1985, Babcock Street has seen steady growth in traffic. As the current four-lane road reaches capacity, the level of service, which is a measure of traffic congestion, has steadily declined. The decline in the level of service means slower speeds, longer trip times, and longer waits at intersections. Traffic models predict that this segment of Babcock Street will need to carry more than 58,000 vehicles per day by the year 2040. In order to alleviate congestion, improve the level of service, and reduce the number of crashes, this roadway needs to have six dedicated lanes, three in each direction. Babcock Street is currently a four-lane divided highway that is generally located within 100 feet of right-of-way. Curbs, gutters, inlets, and sidewalks are located on both sides of the road. A grass median is located in the middle of the road separating the travel lanes. There are openings in the median which allow access to side streets, businesses, and private property. Street lighting is provided along portions of Babcock Street. There are 10 different underground and pole-mounted utilities located along the road. The posted speed limit is 45 miles per hour. The proposed six-lane typical section has three travel lanes in both directions separated by a raised grass median. Sidewalks and bike lanes will be provided along both sides of the roadway. The speed limit will remain at 45 miles per hour. From Malabar Road to the Tillman Canal, the proposed widening will require the acquisition of property on the east side of the road, as shown by the yellow dashed line. Approximately 30 feet of property will be needed from the single-family homes that are directly located on the east side of Babcock Street. If the FDOT simply purchased this 30-foot strip of property and the road was widened toward these homes, the result would be homes that have no front yards, that experience extreme noise levels, and have driveways that would be extremely steep. Therefore, FDOT is recommending purchasing the entire row of lots and houses. The remainder of the property will be used for stormwater treatment and will provide space for visual screening for the remaining homes in the neighborhood. If you are unsure how this will affect your property, there are a number of FDOT staff here who are able to discuss the right-of-way acquisition process and answer your questions. Along with the widening, the existing traffic signals at Dwyer Place, Charles Boulevard, and at Fallon Boulevard will be replaced with new signals and pedestrian from the Tillman Canal to Port Malabar Boulevard, the alignment will shift to the west and approximately 27 feet of property will be acquired. At this time, there are no plans to purchase homes in this area. The existing traffic signal at Blaine Street will be replaced with a new signal and pedestrian crossing feature. Port Malabar Boulevard is a major thoroughfare and must have several turn lanes to operate safely and efficiently. 
For motorists driving north on Babcock Street, a single left turn lane will be provided in order to travel west on Port Malabar Boulevard, and an exclusive right turn lane will be provided to travel east. For motorists driving south on Babcock Street, dual left turn lanes will be provided in order to travel east on Port Malabar Boulevard, and an exclusive right turn lane will be provided to travel west. Property will be required for the new southbound turn lanes and will impact at least three residences in the Country Club Vista community. The existing traffic signal at this intersection will be replaced. From Port Malabar Boulevard to Palm Bay Road, the alignment shifts to the east for a more centered alignment and then connects to the existing intersection with Palm Bay Road. The areas of possible property acquisition are shown by the yellow dashed line. The Charles Boulevard Dwyer Place intersection currently has a traffic signal and crosswalks. Crossing guards are present during school drop off and pickup times. In the 2002 PDE study, a commitment was made to study the feasibility of a pedestrian overpass during the design phase. The department conducted a feasibility study for a pedestrian overpass in 2011. The results of the study determined that an overpass was not cost feasible and will not be part of this project. To help with access to and from the elementary school, a right turn lane along Babcock Street onto Biddle Street will be provided. A right turn lane along Dwyer Place onto Babcock Street will also be incorporated in. There are five existing stormwater retention areas along this corridor and they will all continue to be used for stormwater treatment. One new stormwater retention area may be required near the Sunnybrook Lane intersection. Numerous permitting agencies will be giving input and review of the final design elements and construction plans. The primary agencies are the St. Johns River Water Management District, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and the Melbourne Tillman Water Control District. The bridge over the Tillman Canal was originally constructed in the 1960s with two lanes. Over the years, the bridge has been widened to four lanes with a concrete median and sidewalks. As part of this project, the bridge will be widened on the west side by approximately 26 feet. The original 1960s bridge and the old east side widening will be removed and rebuilt. The traffic signals at Dwyer Place Charles Boulevard, Fallon Boulevard, Blaine Street, and Port Malabar Boulevard will be replaced to accommodate the six-lane widening. The signals at Malabar Road and Palm Bay Road will not be replaced since they already accommodate six lanes along Babcock Street. The existing street lighting will remain in place or will be adjusted. No new street lighting is proposed. All roadway signs along the corridor will be replaced. This project affects many people and many different agencies. Coordination is ongoing. FDOT provides project newsletters that are periodically mailed to all local property owners and other interested parties. Public information meetings like this one are held to provide information, gather comments, and answer your questions. This is the second meeting. The first meeting was held March 14, 2013, and a third meeting is tentatively scheduled for October 2013. For more information, you can visit the project website at www.cflroads.com. For this project, select SR 507 from the road pull down and hit search. Click on the project number 237650-6. Here you will find information specific to this widening project. We began the design phase in June 2012, and design will continue through June 2014. During the past eight months, extensive data gathering such as surveying, soil testing, traffic studies, wetland assessments, and investigations of protected wildlife have been completed. Our engineers are finalizing the preliminary design of the roadway features, identifying stormwater treatment and permitting needs, determining the configuration of the bridge, and determining the environmental impacts due to the widening improvements. We are currently at the 15% stage of completion, and your suggestions, comments, and input are very important to us. Now is the time to consider other ideas and concepts from the local community, well before the actual design is finalized. The current schedule is for design, permitting, and construction plans to be completed in June 2014. Right-of-way acquisition and construction of the improvements. We appreciate your attendance at tonight's public information meeting.
If you have any questions or comments, feel free to talk with anyone from the design team. If you would like to provide your comment in writing, we have forms available for you. You can leave your written comment with us tonight, or you can take the form with you and fill it out at your convenience. In order for your comments to become part of the public record, we must receive them by April 1, 2013. We will respond in writing to every written comment we receive. We hope that we have answered most of your questions and addressed your concerns, but if you have any further questions about this project, please feel free to contact either Ashraf El Magrabi, the project manager with FDOT, or Andy DeWitt, the consultant project manager. Thank you again for your interest in this project and for attending tonight's meeting.